Morgan Sheep. Where? Thorpe's ranch. Tell the other ranchers. Yes, sir. Sheep. Sheep at Thorpe's ranch. Sheep. Sheep at Thorpe's ranch. Sheep. Are you sure, Bob? Sure, I'm sure. Morgan and the other cattlemen are on their way over to his place now. Get your horses, boys. That hot-headed Morgan's liable to go off half-cocks and shoot somebody. you turn sheep herder, huh? Why, no, of course not. There ain't any sheep on this ranch. Well, you can see for yourself. You're expecting a carload of sheep, and this bill proves it. Too bad he won't be here to receive them. Yeah. Well, let's get going, boys. Come on. What's going on here? Thorpe's raising sheep. Where are they? Well, you keep out of this, Autry. You've got nothing to lose. We ranchers stand a chance to lose everything if sheep come in. You're only a foreman. I'm just as much against sheep as you are. But I'm against murder, too. Thorpe, you ought to know better than try to raise sheep in a cattle country. I, I got a right to earn a living, ain't I? Yeah, but you've no right to ruin the range. He won't get a chance. Sheep ruined me once, but they're not going to do it again. All right, wait a minute. What are you going to do, Jed? They're on their way here by rail, but I'll ship them back. All right, fellas, I guess that settles it. Well, not as far as I am concerned, it doesn't. I'm not through with this thing yet. And you mind your own business, Autry, and stick to your singing. Not a bad idea. Maybe a little song that kind of cool you off. So Gene's got a lot of tricks up his sleeve, boys. Did I ever tell you about the time that he turned a royal flush into a ranch? No, what ranch is that? Uh, the poker ranch, right over there. Yeah, that's a pretty place. <laughs> Fine bunch of rocks you're raising over there, Gene. <laughs> yeah. I've been thinking about selling it if I could get my price. Do you hear an offer? No! no. Do I hear two bits? No! Well, in that case, I guess I'll have to give it back to the state. Well, you might as well. The Indians wouldn't have it. <laughs> Where's this stuff from? Chicago, I guess. That's what the labels say. 
Well, I'll be hung for a horse thief. Soil test and equipment, encyclopedias, ETC, and chemicals and poisons. Well, who in the blazes sent all that junk out here? That's easy. Our lady boss. She's going to an agricultural college taking up animal husbandry. Husbandry, huh? Well, it do beat all what women will do to get married. I nearly forgot. Here's a letter for you, Gene. It's from Chicago, too. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Go ahead and read it, Frog. I feel kind of sick. Dear Mr. Autry, since inheriting the Knight Ranch from my late uncle, I have been preparing to take over its operation by making an intensive study of the science of animal husbandry. It don't sound decent to me. Uh, she means she's taking up animal raising. Go on. While I am not criticizing your management, well, she better not. You've sent her more money from this place than she ever got before. I feel confident that the application of modern sci 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 scientific yeah, methods will make a marked difference in the profits. Yeah, we'll probably be busted in a year. I'm arriving on the afternoon train Tuesday. Gosh, that's tomorrow. Go on. Sincerely yours, Sandra Knight Bach. What? That's what it says. Sandra Knight Bach. Bachelor of Animal Husband, be stupid. Oh. Did you wire your foreman to meet you? No, but I wrote him I was arriving today. Maybe they still use last year's calendar out here. <laughs> My sentiments exactly. Hey, look! They sweet. Yes, aren't they? Girls, here's a chance to put our knowledge to practical use. Now, what would you say was wrong with those sheep? Slightly soiled, I'd say. The owner will lose all his profit marketing them so early. They should be allowed to graze for at least two months longer. Why, even their fleece hasn't reached its full growth. You're right. Oh, are you, Mr. Autry? Why, no. Were you expecting him? Oh, yes, I was. I reckon he'll be along soon. I couldn't help but overhear what you're saying. It's mighty unusual for young ladies to know so much about livestock. Well, my friends and I majored in animal husbandry. Oh, I see. Are you figuring on going in for ranching? Well, in a manner of speaking, I'm in it already. I own the night ranch. Oh, I'm a neighbor of yours. My name's Jed Thorpe. How do you do? Oh, uh, are these your sheep? Why, are They're I... ours. Well, I'm, I'm awfully afraid I was... Please don't apologize, Miss Knight. I may be just an old-fashioned stock man, but I've got a real respect for learning. If we weren't so hard-pressed, I'd sure heed your advice. Well, I reckon with your college education, you'll soon put us old-timers in the shade. Oh, well, hardly that. Oh, yes, you will. Well, I'll bet you could take those sheep right now and make a handsome profit on them. Say, that's an idea. Why don't you try it? Well, I don't know. What do you think, Jane? Whoa! Hi, Jim. Hi. Ain't seen no females around here, have you? Females? Yeah. Places knee deep in them. Take your pig. I couldn't put their hands. Now we'll have an opportunity to try out Formula 729. Miss Knight. I'm Miss Knight. Well, how do you do? I'm Frog Millhouse. Uh, Gene couldn't come. He was tied up down at the ranch, so he sent me. Right here's our car. Oh, thank you. Get in, girls. Uh, you'd better help load the truck. With your baggage? No, the sheep. Sheep? Why, you can't. Why, you don't. You, I you, just bought them. Well, yeah, but you can't. Why, I've you, made arrangements to use that truck. You can drive it, and I'll take the car. Sheep. Well, I didn't expect you to come dashing out of the blue. Me dash? 
Well, what else could I expect from a woman driver? What are you doing with those sheep? Are you out of your mind? Well, I ain't, but I'm getting that way fast. You know that rat Briggs went and palmed these sheep off on your lady boy? Why didn't you stop her? Well, she don't stop easy. Where is she? Well, you ought to know. You've been talking to her. There she goes, cowboy. Uh-oh. Are we playing games? I'm sorry I was so rude just now, but I was afraid Champ might have broken his leg. Oh, well, then I guess I'm the one who should apologize. I'm Gene Autry, your foreman. <laughs> well, how do you do? Uh, uh, these are my classmates that are coming to spend the summer with me. Uh, Miss Snow, Miss Hilton, and Miss Parker. How do you do? About those sheep you just bought. You can't keep them, you know. I'd like to know why not. Because this isn't a sheep country. Well, I see plenty of grass. Sheep eat grass, don't they? Yeah, and they eat the roots, too. And grass can't grow without roots. That's why they don't allow them to raise sheep around here. I'll raise whatever I choose on my own ranch. And I don't want to discuss the matter any further. This way. Hey, that ain't the right way. Hey, pipe down. Well, yeah, but that ain't the way to the ranch. I know it. Come on, follow me. Yeah, but... Welcome home, Miss Knight. Home? This? But, but it's awful. Come to think about it, it does look a little run down. Maybe a coat of paint would help it, too. Beyond help. A fine manager you are. You might have used some of that money you sent me for improvement. Well, we've been so busy with the cattle, we haven't had time to get the place slicked up. <gasps> so I see. Extremely unhygienic. But cozy. Where's the equipment I had sent out? Oh, I had that stored. You see... Have it brought over here immediately, please. Yes, ma'am. All right, girls, let's get to work. Find them sheep? Ah, oh, stop worrying. One night here will be plenty. We'll be grabbing the first train east tomorrow. Them sheep? Oh, you mean them girls. Well, I hope you know. Now get ready to do your stuff. 
I'll take the upper. Not bad at all. A bit unyielding, perhaps, but not... Oh, oh Billy! Are you hurt? No, I guess not. What's the matter? You have an accident? No, indeed. I always get out of bed that way. It isn't your fault she wasn't killed. The way you've let this place go to rack and ruin is a disgrace. Say, what are you doing here, anyway? Well, I thought you'd feel safer if you had this. There's nothing to be afraid of. Is there? Oh, nothing. Only the wolves and coyotes. Wolves? Yeah, but they're not likely to break in. That is, unless they're hungry. Oh, yes, another thing. If you should find a snake caught up beside you, don't disturb him. Don't disturb him? No. You might make him mad. They only come in to keep warm, and if you don't bother them, they won't bother you. Good night. Uh, where are you boys going to sleep? Well, we'll roll up in our blankets and sleep out in the brush. Unless you'd feel safer if we stayed on the porch. No. We'll get along all right. Good night. Pleasant dreams. Oh. If this one doesn't nosedive, we won't have so far to fall. Take a look around. Oh, I'll go with you. No, you stay here. It's oh. safer. Oh. He won't bother you again. I know, but there are others. Yes, plenty of them. Well, I... That is, we'd, we'd all feel a lot safer if we knew you were sleeping on the front porch. Sure. I'll get my blanket. And don't worry. Nothing else will bother you, I promise. Now go on in and get some sleep. All right. I'll try. The moon is riding. Riding her on all the stars up in the sky. It's a lazy trail they're blazing. Like cattle slowly grazing way up high. The moon is riding on a silver saddle down the Milky Way. And the gentle winds are blowing like cattle softly lowing till gray. I can hear him sing a song, little donkey get along, as he rounds up every little stray. And I gaily sing along, little donkey get along, come on, let's be on our way. The moon is mine, and he keeps Company through the lonely night as we travel on together to greet the dawn together. The world is bright for the moon and I are riding.
Where's that doggone pop gun? I didn't know you could shoot silly. I won a sharpshooting contest in high school. Is all the land like this? But the sheep would starve on this range. The best we've got. But I don't understand. The man who sold me the sheep said I'd have plenty of grazing land. Ah, uh, he was just trying to make a sale. Yeah, I suppose he was. <laughs> I realize now I should have waited and asked for your advice. Next time I will. Not that way, Miss Sandra. Wonderful place. Like it? Who wouldn't? Who does it belong to? An Easterner. Doesn't even know what it looks like. If that place were mine, I'd never want to leave it. I hope you never do. I mean, I hope you never leave the West. Somehow I was under the impression that I wasn't welcome here. Oh, no. Nothing like that. Miss Sandy, there's something I've got to tell you about the ranch. Wait a minute. What's that? Boys around the tough way. Let's go over there where we can hear them. <gasps> what are they doing? He's holding her in his arms. <gasps> Don't get excited. He's just helping her dismount. <laughs> About the ranch. It's kind of hard to explain, I'm but... sure it is, Jean. Now that I've seen what you had to contend with, I think it's marvelous what you've done. Thanks. Most of the profits have been made from cattle, and I think it'd be wise to stick with them. Mm-hmm. You mean you let me sell the sheep? If the manager of this ranch would just lease me some grazing land for the sheep, Not I a could... chance. Well, at least we can ask him. But he's against sheep, Miss Sandra. Oh, don't be silly. Let's go see if we can find him. I'm going to tell all the ranchers you got sheep here. Oh, wait a minute. Come up and see my new telephone. Come on up quick. Everywhere I go, folks want to know how I make my voice go way down low. Be wee wee wo, be wee wee wo. But I'm going to keep it to myself. I won't sell, and I won't tell. But if I do, I know darn well. I couldn't keep it to myself. 
Supposing I get lost in the woods, everybody hunting me all they could. Well, how'd they know if they found me if I didn't be wee wee wee? Now I tell you, but if I do, I know you tell somebody else too. So be de wee wo, be de wee wo. I'm gonna keep it to myself. Be de wee 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 wo. But could you tell me where we could find the manager? The which? The manager of this ranch. No, ma'am, I can't. Goodbye, boys. See you at the dance tonight. He went and spotted them sheep. I guess he's doing the Paul Revere. You're right. Something came up at the ranch unexpectedly. I've got to get back. All right, I'll go join the girl. Come on, Jeep. Hold on here. Pretty smart on your part, Hawthorne. Getting Thorpe to promise not to take those sheep so you could buy them cheap? I didn't buy them. No? Well, what are they doing on your ranch? I'll get them off of here tomorrow. Yeah? Well, I'll save you the trouble. Keep back. Let them find it out alone. Let him up, Frog. Now get on your horse and get out of here. You'll have to get rid of those sheep, Gene. Inside of 24 hours. All right, I will. I give you my word. Your word? We're not here to settle your personal grudges, Morgan. Get going. Twenty-four hours. That doesn't give us very much time, Frog. What's the matter? Did he hurt you? Oh, it ain't much. Come on, I'll fix it. You know, it looks like I got the smallpox. Hmm. You've got it. I got smallpox? It'll work. It's got to. Hurry up before the girls get back. Well, maybe we're both crazy. Hello? 
Howdy, Miss Knight. Good morning. What are you doing here? We're just looking over my ranch. Well, what do you think of it? Well, it's hardly what I expected. It's so shabby and run down. Well, that's strange. I understood Jean had been making a lot of improvements lately. Well, I don't see any, do you? <laughs> or that pasture land you spoke of either, Mr. Briggs. Why, but Miss Knight, this isn't... Uh, well, it certainly isn't the place it used to be. Of course, I haven't been here for some time. But I suppose the drought and the dust storms. What you need is a smaller place. A place you could cultivate more intensively. Have you ever thought of selling? No, I hadn't, but <laughs> I'm afraid I wouldn't get much for it. Why, I'd be willing to pay you $5,000 cash for it right now. $5,000? Well, I'll think it over and let you know. Why, well, that ranch ain't worth $50, much less $5,000. How much is the night ranch worth? $100,000 or more. Well, that's the only ranch she has the legal right to sell. Now do you get it? You mean she, she thinks she's selling this when she's really selling her own ranch? Sure. She'll never recognize a legal description of the ranch on the deed. Say, that's the slickest land grab I ever heard of. But what about Jean and Frog? They won't let her do it. We'll have to figure out some way to keep them from interfering. Here we are. The membranes of the mouth become swollen and discolored. Livid blotches appear on the lips and skin, and red lines on the hoof. They have all the symptoms. Of what? Hoof and mouth disease. No. There's no doubt about it. By this time, probably the whole flock is infected. Oh, they'll all have to be destroyed. All right, miss, if you say so. You can go on up to the house. Frog now will take care of it. You know, that's kind of like taking candy away from a kid. Yeah, but it's for their own good. Tell you what we'll do, we'll take them to the party tonight. Oh, no, you can't do that. Somebody will tell them they're on the wrong ranch. Don't worry. I intend to tell Sandy the truth before we get to the dance. Get rid of these sheep. Take them into town and ship them. And I'll see you at the dance tonight. All right. Well, I'm, I'm going to town. I'm going to tell them. Has Miss Knight changed her mind about raising sheep? Well, no, but me and Jean changed it for her. You know what we done? We went and put red goo all over them sheep's noses and all over their hoofs so that she think they had the hoof and mouth disease. <laughs> Pretty clever. <laughs> I'll take them off your hands. I got an out-of-town customer that can use them. Well, will you? Well, you won't tell Miss Knight, will you, because she's got to think they were destroyed. Of course. Well, where do you want them delivered? I'd kind of like to go to that dance tonight. I'll take them right now. I'll lend you my horse so you won't miss the fun. Well, gee, Mr. Briggs, you're a swell guy. It's a beautiful evening, isn't it? Watch me break down their resistance. Well, pards, I reckon you hombres are figuring on a rip start and bang up shindig tonight. What did she call us? Umbri, a colloquialism indigenous to the Southwest, derived from the Latin homo. <laughs> Sandy, there's something I want to tell you about the ranch. Oh, this is a fine time to talk business. Well, it's important. I don't want to hear it.
We'll now have a number from Mr. Milhouse and three young ladies from the East who just came in. <laughs> I saw a flock of sheep on your land, Morgan. I didn't know that you'd turn out to be a sheep herder. On my land? Yeah. Oh, so that's the way Autry got rid of him, huh? Looks that way. Of course, I just couldn't say. You don't suppose he's going to be at that town dance tonight, do you? Very likely. Well, good night. Got a little gal had fragrance on the face, fragrance on the face, fragrance on the face. Well, I asked for it, she got it, said I got a man's place. Oh, Sally, ain't you coming out tonight? Buffalo gal, ain't you coming out tonight? Coming out tonight, coming out tonight. Buffalo gal, ain't you coming out tonight? To dance with the light of the May I have this dance for tonight? Certainly. I don't want to butt in, Miss Knight. But I think those boys played an awful mean trick on you. What do you mean? Oh, about those sheep. I bought them back. But they were diseased. No, they're perfectly healthy. The boys just painted them up to make them look that way. I imagine it was their idea of a joke. They seemed to think it was very funny. Now, folks, the act you've all been waiting for, the popular young singer, Gene Autry.
very funny, aren't you? Anything for a laugh. What's the matter? You must have had a good time laughing over the way you fooled me. You mean about the sheep? Oh, so you admit it. Yes, but you admit Never mind. And you needn't bother returning to the ranch tonight, Mr. Autry. We can get along without you. Mr. Briggs, will you take me home? Gladly. Wait a minute, Sandy. You don't understand. Oh, uh, gee. Got your gun with you? Of course not. You'd better take this one. Morgan's out looking for you. Yes. Uh, yes. No time to argue. He's coming in for a showdown. All right. Thanks. That's all right. You did me a good turn once. Gee, look out. Audrey, I am going to give you something that you've had coming to you for a long time. I didn't fire that gun, Sheriff. This doesn't back up your story, Gene. It looks like a case of self-defense, but I'll have to put you under arrest. Check the bullets that hit Morgan and let me know. All right. You're steady, Tracy. Go out and arrest Dog Millhouse at the night ranch tomorrow. He may be mixed up in this. Hey, Gene. I come in to see the sheriff about that bullet, but he's after me, too. What will I do now? Get back to the ranch and look after the girls. Try and square things with Pam. All right. Leave it to me. I'll take your offer. I might as well sell. I'm going back east as fast as the train will take me. Very well. I'll have the deed drawn up and the check here the first thing in the morning. We've got to work fast to get that deed signed and recorded before anyone wises up. With Gene in jail and Frog hiding out, I don't know who's going to stop us. Well, you're a fine one running out on us. Yes. What are you packing for? We're leaving tomorrow. You'd better start packing, too. Well, it certainly has been a short summer. Did you hear anything? I think I did. Gosh, it's spooky out here all alone. Nonsense. Four women surely ought to be able to take care of themselves. out here to protect you. How thoughtful. Well, you can both look for new jobs. I'm selling the ranch tomorrow. This ranch? Naturally. But, Miss Sandra, you can't. Don't Why I... not? Well, Gene wouldn't like it. And I'm supposed to turn down $5,000 because Gene wouldn't like it. Get out of here. Go on, get out of here. Listen, ma'am. That Morgan is dying. Murdered by Gene Autry. Autry tried to bring sheep into this country, but Morgan wouldn't let him. Morgan was out to protect our interests. And Autry was out to get him. Are we going to stand by and let Autry get away with this? No. no. Hey, Gene. Gene. Why aren't you with the girls? Well, they went and run me off. Did you know Sandra's leaving today? And she's going to sell your ranch. If she does, she's a smart girl. Well, I should say she is. She'd get $5,000 for it. $5,000? Yes, sir. Hold on here. Why, the only ranch she's got a right to sell is her own. Who made that offer? Well, I ain't sure, but Briggs was out there last night. Get me out of here, quick. Huh? Hurry up and get me out of here. Thank you. 
Hey, mister, how'd you like to make five bucks? Doing what? I want you to pull down that wall over the end. Sure, I can always use five bucks. Hop on. Well, my truck ain't got here yet. This is a rush job. Oh, we'll pull her out with this. Well, we don't want any of your excuses. We want Arthur. Yeah. Yeah. Better hand him over, Sheriff. Wait a minute, boys. Let's not have any more trouble. Arthur will get a fair trial. We'll try him fair and quick. Gene's my prisoner. He's staying right here in jail. Oh, let her go, boy. Gene's probably headed for his own ranch. We'll get him there. Lock him up. Where about, Sheriff? The jail's kind of drafty. Oh. Bring him along. that key. That mob's out to get Autry. Thanks to you, they'll more than likely get him. I was trying to protect him. Well, well here. Come on, let's go get... Are you sure this describes the property correctly? Oh, yes. It just goes to show that you can get used to anything. I'm sorry to leave. Uh, just sign here, Miss Knight. And here is your check. Why, of course. I've got to stop him before he gets to the county seat. Did he take the check? Thank you. 
No, you snapped her after Jean. And Jean's after us. come to, and he says he saw who shot him. It was Thorpe. I'm right sorry, Jean. That's all right, Tracy. I'd go a long way, too, to keep this country from being ruined by sheep. That's only that cow <laughs> When it's spring time in the Rockies, I am coming back. Little sweetheart of the mountains, with your body eyes of blue, once again I say I love you, while the birds. 